Hey guys, welcome back to another video here in Fix It Facts It. My name is Fix It and today we're going to be doing something pretty special. We're going to be connecting my North Star 616 to my old paging overhead speaker paging system. Very excited because I have wanted this to work for quite a while and it didn't work with the old phone system. So I'm hoping it will work with this phone system. Anyway, uh, real quick, you probably noticed that the lights aren't on on the set back here. Uh, there's a power bar behind all of this that I can't really access and it won't work. So I don't know how I'm going to fix that, but the lights will hopefully work by next week. Anyway. So basically, right now, if you page, you hit the page button, oh, page, and you see sets, and you can page through sets with, with uh, different zones. So like if I click three, it'll page the zone three, which nothing's on zone three, so nothing actually good happens. But then there's this speaker button, and this speaker doesn't do anything. And if I click it, you can hear a relay will click over in there. Three, two, one, if I stop paging, is a click that happens. And that is an external paging output in here. And basically, I'm going to try to hook that up to my Bogan ETI-1 to capture the sound and then play it through the speakers. You can't see there's a speaker there. And I have this new amplifier here, so that should help too. It was expensive, so yeah. Anyway, here's the plan. There is a there's a brown wire up here somewhere. It comes from that Cat Five or Cat Six, and I'm just gonna connect it directly into the external paging source. And I have this sheet with all the different all the different paging or what all the terminals do. I think it's in the Quick Start. In here, no, it's not. Um, is you down here? Yeah, no, no, that's what, that's, what, that's what that was. So, phone system stuff, but it's not the phone system, it's not the phone system stuff I'm looking for. I'll find it eventually. Anyway, what I have to do, as you can see down here, I already took this jack apart. So, if you have to get access to the conductors. And then the conductors need to go from there uh, to there. So I'll do that real quick. Okay, guys. So it's hooked up down there temporarily. And it's hooked up over here temporarily with these two wires. And we're going to say temporar te temporarily is because... Uh, what I'm going to have to do is hook up um, a relay, because right now if you push page, you push speaker, you'll hear there's no page tone. But when I pick it up, I can speak through. And it also sounds really funky, almost like you're talking through a GoPro in a waterproof case. It sounds really funky for some reason when it talks here. So I think it maybe has something to do with my funky connections down there this funky cord that's plugging all this in or just that amplifier so the answer that or it's something wrong over here but i'll see you guys tomorrow when we install this relay because this also hums like crazy because this this thing's actually running because it sees the contact closure so if i unplug the cord so like that. I'm gonna plug it in. Here's the page tone, but then there's no page because you have to go page and speakers, and now you're connected. So that has to be fixed. We just unplug it from down here. There we go. And now we're shut down. Okay, peoples. It is now functional. 
And I was like, I'm gonna have to wire a relay in to the painting relay. Um, but no, it has a relay built into it. So right there, I wired it in. So now, I am gonna fix the volume issue. It still sounds a bit like tinny. I'm not sure why, but if I push two, you can page. Mm -hmm. up. Hangs up. And then if I push page again, I push two. You get the tone again. And that's all because they're really in the panel. In fact, when I push page, and I hit number two, you can hear the relay click in the panel. There's actually two relays. And you hear the thud come from the speakers, the relay in the phone system clicks. And then the relay on the UTI clicks to stop outputting sound. And the nice thing about this is you can play music through here, through the Rogan UTI one. I have this fancy cord that goes from that to, to the, the iPhone thing, so that's handy. And then I also, we, we do have hold music still with the sample fire. She just turned, oh yeah, I fixed the set lights last night too. So now this works. And the sample fire does that. And you just connect it to Bluetooth and you got hold music and then you can also Turn the music on on each phone by pushing feature six five. No, that's do not disturb. It's feature six eight six. Yeah, music. Anyway, guys, I think that's gonna wrap it up for part one of installing or of I guess connecting paging to the phone system because. These, this one here, um, the little switch down here to switch it in between the old intercom system and the uh, paging system. However, I don't know why, but the relay won't click over, so I have to manually squeeze this relay. But this is the override phone, so if I pick up the receiver, that's how I had to page. So. This is so much more handy because I just was page. Make a page. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this one. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Wait guys, wait, 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 don't leave, don't leave. Uh, there's one more thing. Why don't you guys go ahead and check out my new Instagram page. The link's in the description, which is down there somewhere. It's, uh, it's deep down there, built in, you know? Anyway, um, I hope you guys like the new Instagram page and follow me because just, just do it. Just, just.